Hello, welcome to Wise Guys. This session is talk about constant acceleration and show you how to solve problem using kinematics equation and in different method. So let's first uh, and uh, review uh, the kinematic equation. There are four formulas. Each formula we pay attention. There are one, two, three, four variables. But the first formula, there are no displacement. The second formula, four variable, no acceleration. The third one, one, two, three, four. There are no final velocity. The fourth one, no delta t. So that's why you read the question, you need to identify the information given so that you can find one of the formula to solve. Let's look at the question. A stone drops vertically from a tall building. It hits the ground at the speed of 29 meter per second. The 29 meter per second hits the ground at the speed of 29 meter per second looks like final velocity, but we need to continue read it to see what we're looking for and to create a whole 94 centimeter deep. Question A, find its deceleration after hitting the ground because the stone from the tall building and the first hit the ground with velocity, if we don't know, just write the velocity equals 29 meter per second. Then they hit the ground and they go into the ground to 94, which is delta D, is 94 centimeter deep which we can convert to 0 0.94 meter. Create a hole 94 centimeter deep, and that means at this moment, it stop, right? So final equals zero. So we're talking about the 94 centimeter. So that's why the 29 meter per second when it hits the ground is initial. We're not talking about from the tall building to before hit the ground. We're talking about the situation after hit the ground, then go into the ground, stops. We're talking about during 94 centimeters. That's why this is the initial, this is final. Then we can see we have three information already. We have initial velocity, we have final velocity, we have displacement. So obviously, we need to use this formula, right? We can find acceleration. That's why the first method, so we can using formula find question A, using formula is final velocity, uh, using formula final velocity equals initial velocity square plus two times acceleration times delta d. So acceleration equals final velocity, subtract initial velocity, square, divide the two times delta d. So that's why acceleration equals two times 0 0.94 meter. And top is final is zero, zero square minus 29 meter per second and the bracket square. Then we can calculate because the acceleration top is zero square minus, so we got the negative. 29 square and divided by 0 0.94. Twenty-nine squared divided zero point nine four 
where when we divided 0 0.94 and we got the number but we still need to divide another two right so we divide another two we got uh, 447 447 meter per second square this is the acceleration right <clears throat> because if you consider this is a 29 a two single figure 94 a two single figure that's why you want to keep the acceleration a two single figure you can round up to this is a 450 meter per second square is negative right <clears throat> and then we're looking for b question b looking for how long does it take the stone to stop to find the time we need to use we can use the first formula because we already find the acceleration so that's why we can use the first formula find delta t so we have question b we have final velocity equals initial velocity plus a times delta t so delta t equals v final minus v initial divided acceleration equals final equals zero minus initial equals 29 meter per second acceleration now we find is negative 447 you use negative 450 meter per second square and uh, this is negative negative become positive but time never be negative so we have <clears throat> 29 on the top divided 450 we got 0 0.064 second it takes 0 0.064 second to stop the second method I would like to show you um, first looking for <clears throat> time because there's no way using another formula first find acceleration right so because this is the only formula we can use the second method I would like to show you the method two we can first solve for b so far we find that the time so we can use the second formula because in second formula we have initial velocity final velocity and the displacement we can find delta t so the, the second is method is delta d equals v initial plus v final divided two times delta t so that's why manipulate the formula we got the delta t equals to v initial plus v final and two times delta d right when you manipulate the formula you say because delta t is multiply this part that's why when you manipulate the formula this this part must be on the bottom right then two multiply delta t and then we can find delta t equals two times 0 0.94 meter initial velocity 29 meter per second per zero and we can find the time on the top is two times 0 0.94 and equal divided 29 and we got the 0 0.0 64.8 so you can put the 0 0.065 and this one is a little bit and different with the first method because this is a rounding problem so it's okay <clears throat> and the second after find delta t then we can find the acceleration right to find the acceleration same thing after you find delta t we can use still using the first formula to find 
acceleration. So you can say V final, this is question A, equal V initial plus A times delta T. So acceleration equals final minus initial divided by delta T. And we plug number final equals zero, initial equal 29 meter per second, bottom is 0, 0.065 seconds. So we can find the acceleration is negative. That means decelerate 29 divided 0 0.065. We still got 446 meter per second square, which is we rounding to is negative 450 meter per second. Keep two single figures. So <clears throat> most questions related to kinematics, we can use several different methods. OK, this is represented by wise guys. Thanks for watching.